Hey yo, welcome to the wonderful world of Hungry Heat. I'm not classically trained chef. What I am is a self-taught home cook. I have studied under several television chefs. I have a PhD from YouTube University and a black belt in Google Food. I love to cook. One thing I love more than cooking is my wife, sensational Shelly Eats Steak. Together we host what we like to call the Friday Night Feast. Now this happens every Friday night, 6.30 Central. We'll cook up an entree, maybe a couple of snacks, show you how to do it, then we spend the rest of the evening just chewing the fat with all our friends in the Hungry Horde. I don't know if y'all can hear it in the background, but she's cooking us dinner. She's a little bit off camera right now. I am set up to try, uh, not try, I'm going to do one of my recipes. I'm making some bone broth, beef bone broth in my Instant Pot. But I did miss a step. <laughs> this is my MS Journey update for week 154. So, the other day we made some um, beef ribs. So I'm taking all these bones and putting them in my Instant Pot. I just figured I can sit here and talk to y'all while I'm prepping all this. But, I noticed too though, this is in foil. Let me see though. So I'm going to need to pause, grab me a plate to put a bunch of this stuff on for I continue. Okay, now that I have my plate, like I was saying, because what I did a couple of months ago, almost probably a year ago now, we froze, we had cooked a um, prime rib. I just, to make sure the label stayed on so I could keep reading it, I put this. I wrapped the bones, that little portion, in a piece of foil, put it in the baggie, and then put this note over it. I know I'm so crafty. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to open this foil pack, and I think I may need, no, it'll fit. I was afraid I would have to cut this and lay it in here. So that goes in that way. Here's another big bone with some uh, meat on it too. Because my idea is, I'm going to add all this stuff in here, and then whatever the meat falls off of this, I'm going to save it, and I'm going to use that and add it to a chili I'm going to make, because it's supposed to get super cold tomorrow. So I'm going to make this tonight. We're going to can all of the uh, broth to save it, you know, to cook with and whatnot. And then I'll take the remnants of this and make it in the same pot. I'll make me a bowl of chili. I mean, a, a pot of chili. So to this, if y'all watch it, I'll link to the video at the end of this one. But I'm going to add my uh, salt now. I know I'm kind of all over the place. I just got off work and I want to hurry and get this done. So that it's finished and ready while we're eating dinner. This will be rendering for me. We'll be cooking it. Did you say why you're doing the bone broth today? Why I am? Yeah, like what? what's your... You told me that you were going to do the bone broth first before you did something else. Oh, I'm going to make the chili afterwards in the okay. same pot. And I'll use all the remnants that fell off the bone. Nice. Oh, I need three tablespoons of salt. So, of course, you all know we're using our Redmond salt. So I just did two, here's three, and a little more, a little more to grow on. And then we want one tablespoon apple cider vinegar. Let's see here. Alright, little lady, where's your questions now like you normally give me? Oh. You're supposed so, to I, oh I didn't you, know I was You're involved in this too, woman. Oh, don't you call me woman. Call me something. Uh, okay, and do we have some bone broth videos? Yes, we have three of them. <laughs> and uh, if y'all go watch the uh, video, my original video for this, I was all over the place worse than I am now. I mean, there wasn't even any video or an intro really to it. I just, hey, here I am. <laughs> so, how is your MS going? Spectacular. Okay. How are you feeling? Otherwise. Spectacular. Like, as long as I'm eating right and um, avoiding getting too hot and getting too. Oh, I'm silly. I told you I need a gallon. I forgot this jug is a whole gallon. Oh. For some reason, I was thinking it was a three gallon jug. It might be. It says one gallon right here on the label. Oh, okay. 
I'm hoping I can read. Well, that's still up to debate sometimes. Right? But it's a little shy, so I'm going to pour a little more off. Now, what we did, if you see, you notice why I'm using these plastic bottles? Whenever we were, uh, back in the day, whenever, what was it? Almost 30 years ago. We had that uh, horrible uh, snowmageddon. And we had to stay in the uh, hotel for five months. But <laughs> Shelly was still working from home at the time. But we didn't have plumbing at the time. Well, we had plumbing, but we'd have running water. So we would fill these gallon jugs and run them back and forth from the hotel. And we just saved them, or I did anyway, because <coughs> I feel like it's easier. I can run this jug back and forth from the sink and then outside to fill uh, Delilah's water bowl a lot easier than running the, uh, that back and forth to the sink. Yeah. We already have the jugs, why not keep using them? Right. So I'm just guesstimating this. I'm supposed to be adding a, gal uh, a gallon of water. I'm just going to cover the bones. Yeah. It may not be uh, precise, but nothing I do ever really is, honestly. Yeah. I'm more of a fake it till you make it kind of guy. So, closing this off, I'm going to set it to cook for one hour. So you are getting a uh, recipe video along with my image journey. Oh, that's hot. A redux. A redux? Well, yeah, because you're redoing it. Oh. What are you over there cooking? I'm trying my hand at making what uh, I'm going to call it a... Maple Sriracha Shrimp and Brussels. That sounds amazing. So, how's your DDPY going? Honestly, not too good. Oh? I just, we, all, we found a new TV show where I'm enthralled with. We've been catching up on um, Daredevil. In fact, after this is over, we're going to catch up a few more episodes, I'm hoping. And two nights this week, I just blew it off. I'm guessing after dinner I need to go ahead and do my workout for today. And there was a one day I completely missed. I don't remember missing it, but that's what the thing said. And then uh, I think it was not last night because I never book them for Fridays. Because it's just too much to get off work, come in here and set up for the show. Yeah. But it was like I missed Wednesdays and I just skipped Thursday. I just canceled it and said I didn't want to do it. I just wasn't feeling like it. I'm feeling amazing. And I really just wanted to hang out, sit on the couch, and watch TV with my wife. That's all I wanted to do. Uh, what well, is it you, you say uh, you just like to... Uh, relax? Right. But no, there was something else you had said before where, yeah, you just like to relax and forget everything. Yes. I thought, I was looking for the seafood seasoning. Do you see it? No, it's in, um, no, I don't know where we put it. I thought we put it in one of those uh, reusable containers. Because y'all, that's the problem too. We, uh, I at least, upcycle a lot of my containers. Like these Redmond uh, Real Salts. We have the giant buckets of it. And we just refill these. Well, sometimes we take these and fill them with other things also. <laughs> and then we forget what those other things are. That's why if you would have saw a couple weeks ago when I had a mystery assortment. We had a bunch of these in the cabinet were just like... They were almost empty, and I just went and blended them all together and made one seasoning blend with it, and then finished it off on some ground beef, I believe. But I feel like I'm rambling now. You are. But you, I know what else I was supposed to do tonight also, though. Oh? I need to set up and do my pill bottles. So y'all are going to stare at the back of this, uh, my sacro lamp. Like, what do you call it in, uh... Wait, I'm trying to remember the word now. In theater, the back, they would call it the cyclorama. Cyclorama? Yeah, that's what they call it. Okay. I could have sworn it's what we called it. Or they used to call it the psych for short. So y'all are going to stare at that for a minute. I'm going to talk loud enough y'all can still hear me while I'm getting all my medicine together. And Shelly's going to cough for you. I know, right? The spices are getting to me. So, were you were asking me questions. Yeah, so you said you fell behind doing your DDPY. Uh, missed one day and canceled one day. 
Yeah. How's your, uh, you said you're feeling really good? I feel amazing, actually. Um, how's your eating? How did that go this week? Pretty good. Actually, this morning's, oh my gosh. This morning's was awesome. Oh. I had, uh, the rest of those ribs, part of the bone. Oh, that reminds me, too. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for reminding me. Let me see him stop this. There's uh, three or four bones for my lunch, for my breakfast, rather. I need to add to this. Oh. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. That's what I do. I tell y'all, that's why she's my better half. Um, so now they're just looking at the psych, huh? Yeah. Okay. Psych. I found the missing ribs. And y'all, this is amazing. I put these on. There was a three pack in here. I put them on last night before I went to bed. When I got this morning, they were so tender and really did fall off the bone. Wow. Oh, well, this is going to be perfect too. Oh. This container I had them in, when I take the meat off the bone, when you know when they meet, I just put the meat back in this. Oh, nice. See? It's not just a hat rack. I got ideas. You do? Well, how's work going? <laughs> Fantastic. I was supposed to have this week, two times this week anyways, I was supposed to have a um, a one-on-one -on -one meeting with my uh, direct supervisor. Uh-huh. But it got canceled because he just got too busy. <laughs> right. Because we're, we we're supposed to have one today, and then it just got canceled. Huh. And I sat in there, because he was ready for me, but I was still on a call. So I said, uh, so I messaged him and said, look, I'm going to put in my notes, and I'll be right there. And he said, okay, cool, see you in a second. And I got in, I got it, went to the meeting, and then I sat there for 15 minutes, and he never showed. Huh. And I was sending him messages, he's never replying. I was like, well, I guess I'm just jumping back on the phones then. He goes, yeah, I guess. He goes, because I got a little... Because he's a supervisor, so we had to take escalation calls from all the other agents. Oh, right. So he's like, yeah, I've got tied up on escalations. We'll make to do it next week. Nah. Oh, all right. I mean, I don't mind having meetings with the boss because he's really cool. Uh, I actually look forward to it because it's time off the phone. I don't have to hear about people yelling and screaming at me. <laughs> do you get a lot of people who yell and scream? Sometimes. I did. I've had the, the, the... Today I did. It was kind of rough. Well, it's like... Some days you're the bug, some days you're the windshield. Wow. Okay. Today, I felt like I was the bug. Well, here, I'm going to adjust the camera. Okay. Because now it's just, you look like a bobblehead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's too many. Uh, okay, well, what else is going on in your life? Well, I'm dropping pills on the floor. Well, that's always handy. Other than that, honestly, I'm... Again, I say it all the time, but no news is good news. Right. Everything's going really, really good for me, honestly. I'm loving life. Anna. Well, that's really good. Um, I'm off tomorrow, so I'm uh, happy. I want to stay up and watch probably six or seven episodes of our show tonight. What is our show that we're watching? I want to say Punisher, but that's not right. No. Daredevil. And why, uh, what, why are we watching, like, Daredevil? We love Marvel, uh, movies and stuff. We love comic books. I don't really wa uh, read comic books, but I know a lot of the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, mythology of them. And, uh, my brother used to, uh, collect them all the time. I got several buddies who do it. I got a buddy that used to own a, a comic book shop. So I'm in the know on a lot of them. I know a lot of their backstories, their origin stories, stuff like that. I know she's always been a big fan of the MCU movies. Yeah. And, and what, honestly, I really feel like I love, I like uh, Marvel better than DC. But then there's several DC heroes I like too, though. So I don't know. Maybe I just like comics in general. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. This is a, a brand new container of my pills. I need a, a, a knife to cut because they're kind of messed up. They, um, does anybody else think this is annoying? Let me see if I can put it on camera. 
There's no pull tab to open this up. So I have to cut it open. I don't know, maybe I'm just being a curmudgeon and just complaining. But it's just little things like this really set me off. Because there's no reason for it. They could do this. Oh, don't cut yourself, Heath. They could do this a lot better. They just refuse to. That's why I feel. Okay. And now I have to fight with this to get it open. Get and the, what, the when label. You say what? This, what medicine is it? This is my Abagio. This is what I take as a prescription for my MS. Okay. And this is a double dose, basically, now. It's kind of crazy. Well, when I was first diagnosed, they had me on a 7 milligram. But then after my flare-up, when we figured out, that's whenever we figured out that I was allergic to the almonds and peanuts, they bumped me up to a, um, a 14 milligram. I'm going to tell you all that, but then look at this. I'm going to show you in here. Look how small that pill is. That little bitty pill, that's 14 milligram. Isn't that crazy? But I take one of these once a day. And I was chatting with that same boss, uh, supervisor, my direct supervisor. Turns out he has MS also. And he said like two or three members of his family have it as well. It's kind of rare, rare that multiple people in your family have it. Oh, and I turned this off with so manual. But um, he gets injections like once every six months, I think he says. Or every so often, but he tells he has he calls it his crap days. Before he goes in for his infe injections, he feels <coughs> really, really bad, real crappy. Mm. Only time I start feeling that way is when I'm overactive. It's like if I'm like walking and doing too much, or if I get too hot. Right, but then you do have like continuous dose. Yes. That's probably part. Of it. Yeah, because I take this daily. He doesn't take pills and stuff like this daily. I don't want to put the salt with this. So, me being lazy again, all of my pills, they go uh, in the cabinet over here above the um, air fryer. But I just take this. This is a little uh, paper plate holder. And I just think it's easier to, to carry this stuff back and forth. So, that's how I do mine. I just make my pill bottle. I think somebody was telling us the other day that uh, somebody they know or they have the same exact one. This is the one I got from the dollar store. This is my original. When I first started, this little bitty guy. You know the difference? I kind of like the big guy better. Now I only take this one when we travel. Well, I, you typically take both of them, but this one predominantly when we travel just because it fits in my uh, backpack a lot easier. What I'll do is I'll put it in a Ziploc. Zip it up and then throw it in the backpack. Nice. But I got all kinds of little tick tricks and tips, <laughs> things I do. Right. That's what I love about uh, when I do have my meetings with my boss. We always compare notes and uh, stuff on what we use, what helps with our MS and everything. So I've been trying to get him to go low carb, but you know how most people are. They're that's not really ideal for them. But I, because like when I was first diagnosed, you know, I messaged Dr. Barry on uh, Instagram and he replied back to me and told me just go as low carb as possible. That's what I was trying to do. Um, I thought I was going to do um, carnivore for a while, but I just ended up being like, what I told y'all, kind of close. There's just so many vegetables I still enjoy. I just, especially like tomatoes, um, bell peppers, onions, um, now it's not like Forrest Gump, <laughs> naming up all those things, you know? <laughs> right. Like right now she's making a um, our uh, Brussels sprouts. And that's what's crazy too, y'all. Honestly, prior to keto, I really never even liked that many vegetables. Well, the only vegetables I really ate was like corn. And then um, well, there's a couple other ones. Oh, I ate potatoes, a lot of potatoes. My yeah. dad loved, basically that's all he wanted was meat and potatoes and chocolate. It was like his three mainstays. So we ate that all the time. And I would just adopted what they, you know, that's how you learn how to cook and everything. So you, you know, you do what your parents do. So I was kind of in that same vein. So it was kind of rough at first when I went keto. But now I'm, was it almost four years now? 
Yeah. February would be four years. No, February would be five. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. But yeah, I'm used to it now, and I don't miss it. Because I, I, I've said it a long time, you know, I've been saying it for a long time. The hardest part for me was because I love pizza, tacos, and burgers, which is bread, bread, bread. So it's kind of hard for me to jump that hurdle. Mm-hmm. But once I did, there's no looking back. I, like I've always said too, this, this keto is not a weight loss diet for me. In fact, I can't even remember if I weighed in last week, did I? I told you I was just Yeah, start- you did. Okay. I think, well, maybe it was a week before. Right. I had a little bit of a whoosh, which was, it felt nice, but I'm not, my, my goals and my, um, lifestyle, or, you know, my hopes and dreams and all that stuff are not tied to that. Right, I mean, meaning you're not going to change what you're doing. Right. To try to get to a certain, uh, weight, right? Correct. I'm just right. going to be, it's going to be what it's going to be. I'm going to eat what I want to want to eat. Because that's the way I look at it, too. With the exception of the almonds and peanuts, I can eat whatever I want. Because a lot of people, I hear a lot of people say that. Oh, I can't eat that. I can't eat this. I can't eat that. That's not the way I look at it. I can eat whatever I want. I can go up there and eat a, a, a three loaves of bread like I used to if I want to. You know, eat a whole a container, a carton or whatever, a box of donuts. For breakfast, if I wanted to. The thing is, I don't want to do that anymore. I really feel like once I changed my mindset, it was easier for me to adapt to this and, and, and embrace it. And do you think your taste buds have also changed? I really do. Because there's been a couple of times, y'all, we've had what uh, her coach deemed a planned deviation. And we would get, we would, we went, that was several months now, we went and got those uh, Queen of Mons. We were not impressed at all. And that used to be one of our favorite things to do, was go over there and get that. Yeah. And now we just don't care. almost a year. Yeah. Wow. Since we did that. Yeah. And I'm just not impressed with stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. There'll be a couple times I'll tell her, like, you know, when I go to, like, uh, Sam's or or Costco or even uh, HEB, and they'll be giving away samples. I'll try it. (coughs) I'm like, this is garbage. Why do I want this? Because uh, it, it, it's been a couple of months now, but the last time I was in Costco, they were handing out those little um, empanadas. Well, it, that's been like almost a year, too. Really? Yeah, because we didn't re-up back in April like mm-hmm. we would have. So, was, And I know it was long before April. Yeah. But like I told her, I said, yeah, I grabbed one because they were free. She's like, yeah, but did it suck? I was like, yeah, I did. I'm not in a hurry to do it again. <laughs> right? Because, like, that stuff I just don't miss anymore, honestly. And, then, y'all, I used to love ice cream. And we used to buy the, uh, we'd even try and get, like, the uh, the keto ice creams. I don't even miss those anymore, either. Like, especially how you had to leave it out of the freezer for, like, 30 minutes before you oh, could actually eat it and all that stuff. Right. Now it's just keto chow ice cream. That's all I eat now when I make ice cream. And it's so much better. It really is. Be- it tastes better. The consistency is better. And it's better for me. And now, speaking of Keto Chow, they have us, they set us up where we have a reusable uh, promo code. I know. So any of y'all that are ordering, uh, if y'all want to support the channel and you're ordering Keto Chow, use our code, please. We would greatly appreciate that. Yeah, that's so awesome. So, yeah, here I am, y'all. I'm starting to ramble again because I'm running out of ideas. No, I think you're good. So, overall, uh, your week's going well. It really is. And your food's all been the same, and yeah. and then tonight making so that shrimp dish and Brussels sprouts. Yes. And then plus we're having salmon, which I always say salmon is something really good to have, especially if you do have MS. The salmon's supposed to be good for the nerves. Yes. So that's another thing too. We've done some a couple. It's mostly her. We've done some deep dives into. Uh, like the whole theory and the whole uh, notion that food is medicine. Yes, a hundred percent. In fact, so. talking about it so much and preaching to my mother, she got me this little uh, magnet for the fridge. Let me try and peel it off. Y'all may have seen it a couple of months ago when I put it on. And like, this is the true story. 
That's the magnet she got me. I'm slowly becoming or turning her into a believer too. <laughs> slowly, but you know how um, you know how parents are because I think it was even Dr. Barry who's always said it. It's the um, powdered bottom syndrome, right? Because yeah. like I think my dad even said it too. He's like, um, I taught you how to use a spoon, and you're gonna teach me about nutrition. <laughs> right. So there's a little bit of a, a disconnect there when you're talking to the older folks. Because they've been there, seen it, well, done that. Well, talking to your parents. Yeah, right? yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, it could be hard. And yet, I think it's not just because you're a child. Uh-huh. But I think it's, you know, once you get to a certain age, a lot of people, it's very, very difficult to change what you're used to. I'm you guilty know, of that. You know, they, they have basically 60 years plus of being told, no, this is how you should eat. No, the doctor said you have this. That's what it is. And to change that mindset and the to go against everything you've heard for six plus decades, it, I think that's just very difficult. You have to be in the right mindset to be like, you know what? I've, I'm through. I have tried everything that they said for six plus decades and it's not getting me the results I'm ready to change but until they get to that point it's just it's a huge uphill battle to reverse that because remember we're sitting there visiting with my uh, aunt and uncle that time yeah there's a uh, there was a little uh, dish in front of him that had a bunch of little uh, chocolates and stuff and I was telling him how you know I reversed my type 2 diabetes and that is what honestly convinced me to keep doing this I wasn't I was still on the fence on it whenever I would go to work I would cheat per se only time I would eat keto was it was I was with the warden when she made me I blew it off I was like yeah if I'm not with her she won't know it won't matter but then the doctor called me and told me that I was no longer type 2 and that's what convinced me I was like well there's something to this with me just being halfway keto what if I'm full force you know yeah. But I was telling my uncle about it too. He's like, "Oh, I wish I could." As he reaches in and grabs another uh, piece of candy, I wish I could get my diabetes in control as I'm eating candy. So I, me being a smartass, I grabbed the jar and moved it to the other side of the table. Could reach it. I said, "Well, there's your first step." Yeah. And he just looked at me like I was crazy. Because mm-hmm. it's kind of wild, y'all. Because the first few times, the first. A uh, few months, anyways, when we went keto, we would uh, really, really strict with our, uh, you know, when we were, we were becoming strict with the ingredients, we went through the uh, pantry and the refrigerator and pulled out anything that had wonky ingredients in it. Instead of throwing it away, I gave it all to my, uh, my sister, my niece, and nephews. And I just still really feel bad about that because I'm like, this is how much I love you have this poison. It still kind of weighs on me a little bit. Yeah, but I feel like they were going to be eating that way anyway. Yes, they were, but it doesn't mean I had to help them eat it. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? I still feel a little guilty about that. Because they, mm-hmm. they will still random or sometimes ask me questions about it and Neat and said they want hints and stuff because my uh, oldest nephew has a real bad um, fatty liver. Fatty liver, and I've sent her and my mom, I've sent my uh, sister and my mom, Dr. Barry's videos on how to uh, you know help him, and I don't think it really mattered. No, well, I, I haven't sent it to him either though, but he's an adult now. Yeah, that's true. Well, let's go ahead and sure get to. Free. Yeah, what all you ate this week, yeah. and then I can get everything started plating. Nice. Two, one. Sunday morning breakfast, and I got a dirty egg scramble. I got jalapeno, diced onion, green pepper, and red green peppers. I sauteed all that in a little bit of butter. 
Then I got some scrambled eggs. I did it in that uh, same pan, the, all in the same uh, cast iron skillet. And then I added some crumbled bacon to it and then topped a little bit of my chili con queso in there as well. Sunday lunch and I got a double meat chili cheeseburger with a little bit of bacon hidden underneath there somewhere. I'm gonna enjoy it with some chicharrones. Three, two, one. Sunday night dinner, we got a mystery meal here, y'all. Trust me, this is amazing. This is going to be for our December channel member cook-along, so I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it is. Just know that you're gonna be intrigued. You're gonna be happy when you find out what this is. It's delicious. Two, one. Monday breakfast, I got my hard boiled eggs topped with some marinara my jalapeno cheddar sausage, my kefir cheese that I dusted with some of this Cooper's Inferno seasoning. Monday lunch, I got an air fryer pork chop, some sauteed veggies, and then I topped it all with some marinara, a slice of cheese, and some pepperoni slices. Monday night dinner, and I got the last helping of our secret recipe that we'll be doing for this month's channel member cook along. Tuesday morning breakfast. I got my hard boiled eggs topped with some of this hot sauce, some cheddar cheese chunks, and a jalapeno cheddar sausage. Three, two, one. Tuesday grocery haul part one. And the reason why it's part one I actually have a coupon floating around there somewhere for a freebie for um, Egg Life Wraps. And I forgot it at the house. I got two freebies for her items. We'll go over that in a minute. We're supposed to be in there. Yeah. All right, you found it? Yeah. Okay. So I got to go back to the store. And right next to um, Sprouts, where I'm going to collect that, or I'm, yeah, is... Um, it's H-E-B H -E where I'm going to go get a few more items because they're running a special on, um, on Rockstar Energy Drinks. So, where did I go today? First thing I did was go to the um, Apple Tree. No. Or Apple Dollar, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, my bad. <laughs> and I bought this container. Because what we do for our dog food... Ooh, did I just break that? It felt it bend real... I thought it cracked. No, I don't see it cracked. We buy these big, I've showed y'all before, we buy these logs of dog food, and then we chop them in half, put them in a baggie, but you can tell this one, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this yeah. baggie's ripped. And we've had them before, I even got the fancy ones, the zippers, and they started leaking. I think it's the metal binder on this that pokes a hole in it. So I told her, I said, why don't I get a container? We put it, the food in, and then we put it down in that drawer, and that'll keep all the stuff contained in it, because it's a container. <laughs> Oh, I did, did just break it. Did you really? Yeah, look, I pressed down. You know why? Because it's cheap plastic. It's from the Dollar Tree. Oh. But, you know what, though? I bet that'll still help it contain. Well, you know, you could always just put tape over it. Yes. But, oh, you man. You can't have nice things. Finally, it's not me breaking something. <laughs> and it's not even shutting all the way. Right? But Aww. at least it's a bucket. That's my main thing. Okay, there here's the goes. next thing we need to do then. Come around, let's see. Let's go ahead and try fit it. Let's see if it'll even fit in that drawer. Oh. Otherwise, this is all mute. Well, do you want to finish? Yeah, okay. We're let's finish, and then we can get this stuff okay, out. Put away. All right, so I left Dollar Tree. No, yeah. then what else did you get at Dollar Tree? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. They had those, what, $1.25 a piece? Yeah. So I got a couple of Bang and a couple of Monsters. And I, uh, she told me to get just a, a seven of them. So I'll give me enough for a week. And the reason why I did this, y'all, one, they're cheap. Two, I've been ordering my Rockstar Energy drinks from Sam's, but they're currently out of stock. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, let me just go ahead and grab some of these for $1.25 a piece. Yeah. So he's like, yeah, we'll just get seven of them then. So I just read, I took pictures and read to make sure they were all the sugar-free ones. So I got that whole bundle there. Yeah, seven. Yeah. Okay. And, and then easy. after Dollar Tree, you went to? I want to say Kroger. Yes. Okay. And Kroger, we got, we hooked up. Nice. Because what is this normally? 
Uh, oh, I don't know. I six, like, seven dollars? Yeah, six know. or seven dollars a package. And these were all marked down. Plus... She had a... What did you have? So, I always clip every coupon I see, whether that... He... When I clip a coupon, what do you think? Well, that means you want it. That's no. That's why we haven't got it. <laughs> I clip coupons because if there's a really good deal like this <laughs> then you have that on top of so mm -hmm. it's not always oh i'm gonna buy it but why not clip it when i see it just in case so for example we normally don't buy right bacon because it's a lot more expensive than like we, the kroger brand yeah. well we love it but it's just so expensive right but i went ahead and i clipped a coupon whenever whatever and it was two dollars off Still, would have been more expensive than the Kroger brand. But today, since this was marked down, we got one of these packages for $2.32. And that's a pound and a half. That's amazing. But he this went is ahead. Go straight in the freezer. Yeah, he went ahead or and bought <laughs> all four that were discounted. And then what else did you get? So, uh, was it Select Ham? Yeah. Select Cuts? And these were on sale, actually, at normal price. Was it like. Five ninety nine. Yeah, buy one get one. So I was like, well, first thing though, I went to the store, the uh, checkout area. They only had one line open, but there's like six or seven people in line. I was like, well, if I gotta wait anyways, let me go check and see a couple, couple more things because I, I wanted to buy some Lily's uh, chips. So let me go go ahead and look and see what they have, what they have in stock, and what their price is. Well. When I got back up to the registers, the only thing they had open was the self-checkout, which I loathe. I don't work there. <laughs> so, I was asking the girl that was running that register if they would give me these. Since I'm buying two, buy one, get one. She's like, well, no, because they're already marked down. And then for whatever reason, I decided not to go do checkout. I went and looked at something else. I don't remember what it was you had me go look back and look at. I don't remember yeah. what it was now. Don't matter. But anyways, I ended up going back over to uh, that register that they had opened a new register, and the girl there called the manager over, and they ended up giving me the one of these for free. Yeah, because otherwise it would have been cheaper to buy the unmarked down because it would have been two for six dollar. Well, five ninety nine. Yeah, which and, is cheaper. And I wouldn't have had to worry about a. Um, them going bad on me. Right, right. Longer shelf life. But this, doing the BOGO, then we got both for $3.11. Yeah, and the girl told me, the uh, manager told me, it was, well, today only. I said, well, Merry Christmas to you, too. And then what else? Um, you, you said, I was going to get some pepperoni at, a, at HEB, but you said this was ended up being a better deal, cheaper for a bigger package, too. Yes. So we got okay. that. And then you had coupons for yeah. these two guys. And it took them forever to find them. It was really weird. You would think this would be over by all the uh, produce and stuff. Or in the deli. Uh -huh. This was over by the bacon and the sausage. I'm not so aisle. weird. Every store is different. Because it was weird. In the app, it says it's aisle 20. So I go looking down aisle 20. But that's chicken and seafood in the frozen section. I'm like, well, this isn't frozen. So I went walking around, walking around. I finally grabbed somebody. He's like, I don't know. Go ask her. And he, oh, well, first guy I found, he was actually just a vendor. He didn't work there. Uh, he's like, well, I'll bet you that girl over there, she was the 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 pickup. What do they call it? So she found it? Yeah. Well, she she pulled it up on her app, on her phone. I mm -hmm. mean, on her little, uh, her computer thing uh, for the in-store. And I said, yeah. She's like, yeah, it is 20. That's weird. She goes, let's ask so-and-so. He works in meat. Let's go see. So he's like, oh, yeah, it's over here. Come here and look. And it, like I said, it was right there by the bacon and the sausage. Uh, and weird. The, not in the freezer, but in the, uh, the cooler. Refrigerated. The so, yes, section. we got these for free, y'all. Yeah. And, and then, then so the girl that, that was checking me out was like, wow, you're doing really good today. Right? And what else? Oh, I got uh, 60 eggs. This is actually the last one they had today. The, the other girl I was asking for, it, she said, yeah, everybody's been buying them up. So going, yeah. Like they're going out of style. Well, because when I went on Saturday, they were out of stock. Yeah. Okay, and then after Kroger, you went to... Aldi Sprouts. Sprouts. And you had me get this. Stuff. Yeah, I want to try this. This is that uh, probiotic. It says yogurt, but it is, it's like made with, um, I think it's made with like some kind of kefir. Let me see here. Blah, 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 blah. I've got the pumpkin spice before, which is really good. So I wanted to try this one, which is, um, 
And it's just sweet with stevia. And it took me a little while to find it, even with her talking me through it, because I was expecting to be a bigger, taller jar. Mm -mm. This one here reminds me of like a baby food or something. <laughs> but it's size. it's by GTs, the same ones that make the GT Synergy. Mm. It, it's really good. So I'm excited to try the chocolate or the cacao. But yeah, I had to have Heath. I was like, he's like, I don't see it anywhere. I'm like, okay, start sending me photos of the whole yogurt section. And then sure enough, like the first photo you sent, I'm like, it, like right if there. it was a snake, it would have bit you. Right. And then what else did you get at uh, Sprouts? You're, you wanted a head of radicchio? Yeah. you said that no other store in our area carries it. They're I going, know. But they're kind of, they try, they build themselves as like being bougie, foo-foo stuff or health conscious. Yeah. So they'll carry certain things that other stores won't. Amen. And then, y'all should have seen our video already for we, uh, the new keto chow flavor, the peppermint. Well, I was looking, I figured it's this time of year, I was hoping that Lily's would have peppermint chips out. So we can make some fudge with it, but they didn't. And she's thinking, Shelly's thinking they're going to have it later, closer to Christmas. It'll probably come around. So we're going to save this, but I went ahead and got a bag because this was the cheapest place also. I got a bag of this so I can make another thing. Uh, and you know, how much is it right now? Five eighty eight. Five ninety nine. Okay. So it's two dollars off, mm -hmm. and that sale runs until December twenty seventh. So if you have a Sprouts, yes, five ninety nine plus in the app until December fifteenth is a dollar off coupon. Which so we, we got, got a bag for four ninety nine, y'all. Because it, what did I tell you? Was it Kroger? It was six eighty eight, and then it was five eighty eight. No, it was six ninety nine. At, at, no, six ninety nine. Kroger six eighty eight at H E B. Yeah, so this is a better deal. And then after that, you went to Aldi. Yes. And Aldi, you just got a couple things here. Yeah. This, what did you say, was five cents cheaper than H E B's? Yeah. So I mean, every every penny uh, helps. And I got a couple things of uh, uh, like their brand of Kleenex. Yeah. And I was also looking for, um, they also had a couple of 99 cent um, energy drinks, the same size as like the Bang and the Monster and everything. Theirs is called Summit, but they have two two different flavors or, or lines or whatever. One's Gridlock. That one has sugar. In fact, one of them I was looking at had 53 grams of sugar. Oh in my it. gosh. That's a no bueno. The other one's called Summit. No, Summit is the brand. I'm sorry. Uh, the it's called Ultra, Ultra. White is yes. the sugar-free. Yes, so comment below if y'all have tried the Aldi Ultra White and what do you think? I wanted to try it, but they didn't have it. They only had the gridlock in stock. They had two different flavors. One was 53. One was like 26 or something like that. So I was okay. like, eh, I'm skipping it. So. All right. Well, that I think you did pretty good. So all together, yeah. all of this came out to, including Dollar Tree, $60 today so That's far. Awesome. So far, because then when I, after I eat lunch, I'm also going to do some meal prep here in a minute. So what I have there, I got a bag of cauliflower I'm going to cook on the smoker. And then our dinner tonight, I'm going to make a couple of racks of ribs. Beef ribs. Beef ribs, yeah. The beef finger back ribs. That's yes. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So that's what I'm fixing the phone to smoker right now. And then I'm going to sit down and eat lunch. And then as, while this is cooking, I'm going to run back to um, Sprouts. To use my free coupon because they have four or five different flavors and I want to get the Southwest uh, flavor because we're going to make tacos later this week. And then I'm going to leave there and go to H-E-B because they're running a special on the Rockstars. Buy two, get one free. And she wants some Purnells and something else. And the Purnells are on sale at H-E-B too. Yes. And that's it. Yeah. I think right. one other item you wanted to get. Mm. Oh, well. So I'm going to get this put away and then I'll show you all putting the ribs on the, on the smoker. So here are those two racks of ribs, and I dusted it with my homemade beef rub. I'm gonna walk out here in a second and put these on the pit. So I'm now here at the pit. This is my Traeger pellet smoker. And I have a skillet here filled with that frozen, or I guess they're thawed now, of the uh, cauliflower florets. And the only thing I did was season that gently, or I'm sorry, liberally seasoned it with Redmond season salt. I'm just gonna let this go for as long as these ribs take. I'm gonna leave everything here all at the same time. And all I did for seasoning, you saw that, I seasoned these ribs with my beef rub. And then I did it on a piece of uh, butcher paper and I shook off all the excess into the cauliflower as well. So I'm gonna let these go for about four or five hours. We'll see y'all in a little bit. 
I'm gonna go in here in a minute and eat my lunch, and then I'm gonna run to the store one more once. Tuesday lunch, I have an air fryer pork chopped, topped with some veg and marinara. Then I have the rest of my Instant Pot queso. And then this morning I made some homemade pork rinds. They're a little different. We're still gotta work on this recipe. Alrighty, as promised, here's part two of my grocery haul. First stop, I went back to Sprouts and turned in a free coupon for the Egg Life. I got the Southwest style and um, we're gonna use that in a couple of days when we make tacos. And then I went to HEB next. It was, they had a special, you buy two, you get one free of the Rockstar. And then Shelly wanted some more of these Purnell's breakfast sausages. And we really like the all natural. I don't remember why it's so much better. Let me see if I can show y'all what exactly is in this one, let's see if I can get a good shot for you. Yeah, fairly clean. So a little sugar is in it, but look, it's the last ingredient. And I think that's uh, typical with most um, sausages. They always put some kind of sweetener, but at least it's just the last ingredient. So I'm gonna get this inside and the, uh, Freeze, uh, freezer for her. This goes into the garage free fridge and this goes also in the garage fridge. That's why I'm filming this in here in my garage. We came home with the cooler. I'm gonna unload all my ice packs and I always travel with a couple extra bottles of water just in case. I'm gonna unload this and then we'll call today done. So I got one more step to do for my meal prep. See, I got that 60 pack of eggs at Kroger earlier. Well, I need to make my hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot. And what I like to do since that's the 60 pack, I'm not gonna cook them all right now. So I'll break it down into these other containers. These are empties I've been saving just specifically for this. So I'm gonna break that down, put it in the Instant Pot and get to cooking. Tuesday night dinner, I got some smoked beef ribs topped with a homemade chimichurri sauce and the Shelly made us her world famous sweet potato steak fries and we did our goat cheese stuffed jalapeno and mushrooms. Wednesday breakfast, I have some ham, egg and cheese. This is that discount ham we got the other day at the store. Wednesday lunch, I got that air fryer pork chop, sauteed veg, and I topped it with a piece of cheese, some marinara, then I smoked some cauliflower, threw that in there all together, and then I'm having a avocado on the side. Oh yeah, and I also topped that with a little bit of my moist clown tears. Wednesday night dinner. I got a couple more bones of those ribs that I smoked the other day. And then I, in the air fryer, made some sweet potato steak fries. And then I had some cream cheese stuffed jalapenos and mushrooms. Thursday breakfast, I got my hard boiled eggs, topped a little bit of marinara, jalapeno cheddar sausage, and a dollop of that kefir cheese, and I dotted it with a little bit of our Cooper's Inferno. Thursday lunch, and I have the smoked pork chops along with the cauliflower. I topped it with a few cherry tomatoes and that um, marinara sauce and some cheese, and then I'm gonna have uh, some avocado on the side. Thursday night dinner, we got a awesome little stir fry. We got that shaved steak from Kroger. We mixed in some julienne peppers, onions, and a little bit of mushrooms. And then she topped it with some hollandaise sauce. And then we got some goat cheese stuffed mushrooms and jalapenos. Dang, this looks so good. Friday breakfast. I got my hard-rolled eggs and kefir cheese all topped with some of this hot sauce. 
And of course I got my link of jalapeno cheddar sausage as well. Friday lunch. I got a couple of air fryer pork chops that I topped with some marinara and I got some sauteed veg in there with them. And I threw a piece of cheese on it and melted it. And then I got a couple of uh, cherry tomatoes. Saturday morning breakfast, I'm having the last bit of my beef ribs, hard boiled eggs, and a couple of slices of the smokehouse cheddar. Saturday lunch, I got some leftover taco meat with a few cherry tomatoes, and I'm eating it with some of my chicharrones. On this seafood Saturday night dinner, I had some maple sriracha shrimp and brussels then along with some air fryer salmon y'all this looks amazing thank you baby you're welcome so that's what i ate this week and that's a wrap that's a wrap yeah. it was a good week i feel like it a good use of leftovers yes really a yes. lot of that was just leftovers and then tomorrow, you're just going to be milk prepping again, right? Yeah. Rinse and repeat, basically. Right? Did you hear that? Hold on. Yeah. What is that nice. you're opening? It's that Coco Yo. It's a probiotic yogurt. Oh, nice. Like, it's, uh, ha I think it uses kind of like kefir. Oh, nice. Uh, well, I don't know. But anyways, it's more than just the regular, um... Yogurt, it has a lot more in it. So, I, I've shown it before on, on my warden report. Right. So, you had a good week. Yes, and... I did. Had a good dinner, too, and that's why I'm kind of, I did a little short little 10-minute uh, mm -hmm. workout. So, I'm kind of looking kind of dazed because I'm full, and then I'm worked out on top of it. I'm ready to just go sit down and relax. Your favorite thing. It is. Oh. I've earned it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so all the trials and tribulations I've been through. Oh, my. So, everything's, like I said, everything's groovy. Uh, uh, no news is good news, I feel like. Well, how about this? Do you have any tips for the upcoming holidays? You know, a lot of people, this could be a, a time of struggle or not just that. Even mental health is right. sometimes a struggle, especially if... You know, you might not have, like, friends or even family close by going through this time of month. So, do you have any, like, tips or My only thoughts? ones, I kind of feel bad saying it, though, because I don't want to sound, you know, holier than thou or anything like that. I just, that's my mentality. You just have to want to. And really, that's how I approach it. Because, like I've told you, I'm, I've said it before, I was very hesitant to embrace the keto lifestyle. But once I saw the benefits and what it did for me and how it's helped me, I see no reason to ever go back to eating the sad. Mm -hmm. And the few times that I've had off, you know, planned deviations or off planned meals like that, I end up, it was detrimental to me actually. I think it affected me. Worse. Yeah, it made, made me feel horrible. And then even the Diet Cokes and stuff. Yes, especially the Diet Sodas. Yeah, and when I think about it, because, I mean, it's it's your life, right? Yeah. You, you're going to live your life and do what you want to do for the rest of your life. So, yeah, but sometimes when I look at the stuff, I'm like, do I even miss it? Right. And I can remember yeah, right. almost everything, what it tasted like, and I think back and I'm like, no, actually... I, I really am looking forward to some a radicchio salad, yeah. or I'm looking forward to you know whatever we're going to be cooking, or like my probiotics. What? No, I'm just rearranging oh. stuff. My uh, kefir. I'm like that. That sounds more appetizing to me. It really does. Yeah, and like when I was in H B earlier, you know how they have the little setup kitchen thing where uh -huh. they give samples. And their sample was a New York strip, so yes, sign me up for that. Right. And then she was like, oh, and then we made our uh, barracho beans, because they do yeah. the kitchen to like try to get you to buy their different seasonings or sauces. Uh -huh. She was talking about that. I said, oh, I just don't like beans, but I'll take the steak. Uh -huh. 
And so she was like, oh. Like she was, like, couldn't believe. And then the guy right next to me, when she was like, well, how about you, sir? And he goes, just the steak for me, too. Nice. He's like, I heard him say, my wife was telling me, you know, I really need to try this and try uh, whatever seasoning you put on the steak. And I think she wants me to get it. Uh-huh. So I thought that was cute. That, nice. Yeah. And so there she had two people in a row that were like, no, I don't want the beans. Right. So, I was never a big fan of the bracha beans anyways, really. Well, the only reason I like bracha beans is I like the broth uh -huh. and the bits of bacon. And so I would basically drink it and, and eat the bacon out of it. I've never been a huge bean person anyways. Right. I think it was mostly a texture thing. I just don't like the texture of beans. I did like the ranch style beans. And the yeah. Cream. Those were kind of good. Or baked beans. I like those a lot. Well, you like refried beans. Yeah, those too. Um, so it sounds like you like a lot of beans. I guess so. I like I just, green beans. I never liked lima beans. Yeah, I do like green beans. Oh, lima beans were the worst. I always yeah. thought they looked like bugs. Uh -huh. Even when I was little, I thought it looked like a bug, and so I, I never wanted them. And I remember people were like, lima beans are so healthy, and I was just like, but they look disgusting. Good. You can have mine then. I know, and they the texture, I just could never get past right. it. The but yeah, most bill. beans... You know, even, remember, I usually gave you my refried beans mm -hmm. when we ate out because, yeah. eh. Um, just filler. That's all it is. Well, I just, again, I, I never really cared for it. And then rice, I'm like, to me, rice is always so bland. It's uh -huh. what you put with the rice when you think about it. Um, like the, what we made for dinner tonight, the maple sriracha shrimp and Brussels. Yes. I got that idea, the recipe idea, and of course tweaked it to be more keto and put my flair on it from a website and they served it over rice. I'm like, that did, that dish did not need rice. No, it didn't. The one and, it got in the way. Right. And so I feel like basically the purpose of rice was to always have it as a filler to put with something. But when it comes down to it, it was like, but I wanted whatever was on the rice, right. not rice itself. Right. And I feel the same thing about pastas. Yes. Like, it's just, again, it was the sauce. That's what I always wanted, and that's what I told him. I said, used to when I would make, you know, my spaghetti, I would, you know, do my, my meat sauce all day. It would uh -huh. simmer, basically, all day long. And I would put so much sauce on my plate, like, you could not even see the noodles. And I'd be like, I mean, I know that's not, you know, like they always show you just put a little sauce to noodles. But I was like, yeah. but I really wanted the sauce. Right. <laughs> that was what tasted good. So it was kind of easy to me when we went keto because it was like, oh, now I get just the sauce. But right. I love like an Alfredo oh, yeah. with the chicken. I'm like, that's all I want. I don't need the noodles. Right. Only thing I still honestly kind of miss, and that's why we do a keto version of it. Uh -huh. Is the breadsticks to go with that? I like doing uh -huh. the bread in the sauce. I'm mm -hmm. always like doing that. Well, I would say that that would be my kind of weakness. Uh -huh. Is a bread, but surprisingly, we don't do really any of the keto bread alternatives. Not really. No. I mean, when we first started, you were like, "I have to have bread," right? And so we did get some keto breads. I never liked them. Yeah. And I think all of the other ones, I just don't care for it. And to me, it's like some people would say, oh, this feels like bread or it tastes like it, it, it has the texture of bread. But it seems to me a lot of it just looks like a fancy egg loaf. Right. And it's not the same. And I think what it was is I was never huge into white or wheat bread. Like I enjoy a really good sourdough bread. I think that's part of the problem too, right there. She was a very good, or still is a very good uh, baker. Mm -hmm. And she used to make her own homemade bread, her own sourdough and stuff like oh, that too. Oh yeah. I so it. all that other stuff, even like the store-bought bread stuff, never held a candle to that. Oh, you're so generous with that. But oh, I didn't is. think my sourdough was as good as what you get in San Francisco. Well, no, but nobody does. But. Mm. But, so I love sourdough, and I loved a really good rye bread. Uh, I love rye or the pumpernickel. I never really, really big fan of that. I, I guess I like the, the breads that had flavors to it, 
or like a really good pistachio yeah. or, you know, garlic bread, the French bread, hence since I'm part French, huh. I did love French bread, that crispy exterior and then the light kind of pull apart inside. And I, I hope I'm not triggering anybody, but sorry. So that's why when I see all the bread alternatives, they're trying to mimic basically white bread, and I just I don't I don't care about that. Yeah. I really want like a good sourdough, but honestly, you're just I don't think you could really replicate replicate sourdough to be like sourdough because sourdough bread on its own, if you're comparing it to like the San Francisco even as like a baker and stuff, it's just very difficult to replicate or even get close to the San Francisco sourdough. Like it just is so incredible. But, and so to me, any keto knockoff, I, I just, I have high doubts that it would end up being decent. Right. Um, and then the other ones, I mean, and, and again, those, I was always the type Kind of like, you know, like the French. I just wanted tons of butter on a yes. nice slice of bread. I didn't, like, use it just to use it as a sandwich and stuff. I preferred to have, like, oh, man, just give me a whole bunch of butter, some fresh salt that I could sprinkle on top, and bread. Like, I could just sit there and make a meal out of that. We did. <laughs> well, we usually had more stuff, too. Yeah. But, you know, like, that's what I... So I would say out of all the stuff, yeah, sometimes I do kind of miss that, especially sourdough. Uh -huh. Not that I even ate it all the time. I mean, I would make it, but I, to me, it was just never the same. And so I think, yeah, maybe if we went to San Francisco again, we might have, you know, a slice or two. Maybe. And I don't know if that would even be detrimental. Um Donna Schwink talks, or she has recipes for an einkorn sourdough, which she said einkorn doesn't have the gluten that the now wheats have. It's like an ancient grain. So I don't know. I don't know. I know, um, you know, some people say they're okay with that. I don't know. I'm just still hesitant, and I don't want to put all the money into getting a new sourdough starter and the eye corn and going through all of that. And then what if I do have an eye adverse reaction to it? Right. That I've put out all this money for what? Like, I really want to put money towards steak. No, I know what he does, but I would, I really want to get that nice yolk, the Sudec or yeah, Sutec yogurt maker where you could set it to like 100 degrees and then make the l ruderai and l gasteri yogurts that's what i want to do i'd rather put my money on that because i know that that is definitely good for keto and it's going to be good for probiotics and everything else right. so i want to get that machine and get those cultures rather than try to deal that's with a bread. metaphysical bread, right? Right. Or not methyl, mystical, I don't know. Anyhow. The only bread I really miss, honestly, y'all, is stuff you use for pizza. Pizza doughs. Oh. Pizza crust. And stuff. Yeah. But that's so easy to replicate, though, with, without having to go into big, big hoopla about it and special mm -hmm. ingredients and everything. Well, and I actually, I really enjoy, like, just a tr cheese crust pizza. I know. That is always good too. Um, I mean, we tried the chicken. Yeah, it's yeah. all right. I just, I think it's because I we always like the cracker crust yes. type pizza, and you get that closest with just a cheese crust pizza because the cheese just gets so crispy. Right. And and it, it and it's thin like you would when we would order like from Domino's y'all <laughs> right that used to be my favorite delivery honestly mm-hmm because yeah. anytime I get like Papa John's it oh. will always mess me up there's something in their tomatoes so it's tomato sauce that messes with me well who knows now right who, what it could have been but like theirs we like the Domino's because it was such a thin cracker yes. crust and that's that's why the cheese one is just my favorite it's my yeah. go-to Cause I just, and I, it's quick and easy too. You can do that yeah. a lot quicker than you can making the bread dough and stuff. 
Right, right. Because we have made some that would mimic yeah. kind of like your New York style uh -huh. um, type of dough, pizza dough. We have done that and been pretty successful with that, but... Um, it's very labor intensive, I feel like. Well, and I think, versus the skillet pizza. Well, and I think as a whole, yeah. I mean, maybe that's nice once in a while when you're like want to have that pick up pizza where you can fold it and everything. But I think generally we, when we want pizza, we're just like, no, let's get the yeah. thin crust. Because all we really care about, and all we care about is the toppings and the cheese, anyways. Right, exactly. Well, I'm glad you're having another week, Me and too. um, you know, you're. Motto for the season is you have to want to. Yeah. Mm. Hashtag have to want it. Right. So I hope you want it. Yeah. And if not, I mean, just your life, right? We have X amount of years on this planet. No reason to be sad or upset during them. Do the best you can. Focus on what really matters for you for the season and the coming year. What is it you that really matters to you? And as long as you focus with that, I think everything else would fall into place. Yeah, that's why I say too, less stress. Right. Because I feel like that helps me mentally too. When I'm not stressing about stuff. I just go with the flow and let it be. I know, he's really good about it. Yes, I am. <laughs> he just like, go with the flow. That's my work sister. She's like, because sometimes I've talked to her about stuff and she's just like, Shelly, I'm just so easy going. Uh -huh. I just go with the flow. I'm like, you and he are so much alike in so many ways. <laughs> I'm like, so that's how he is. He just, what'll be, will be. And she's well, I like, can't change it, so why fight it? Why well, worry about it? Why fret about it? I don't feel like I worry, per se. I just, I overanalyze. That's is honestly. Worrying. Well, to me, that's not a worry because it, I'm not thinking, oh, is this going to happen? It's like, no. Okay, what's going on? How do I find solutions? Let's find all the solutions and figure out which solution is the best. So I overanalyze the situation instead of being like, well, I ain't going to do anything. I'm just sitting back here. And I'm just like, no, I, sometimes I feel like there are things you could do to kind of prevent whatever might happen. Yeah. I prevent myself from getting hungry by fixing something to eat. That's how I. That's how I operate. Okay. That's how I worry. Okay. What am I going to eat tomorrow? Because that is something I can readily fix myself. Well, remedy. that's true. Maybe I'm just a simpleton. I don't know. Live simply. Yes. All right. Well, thank y'all so much for watching, and don't forget. Every Friday night, six thirty Central. We'll cook an entree, maybe a couple little snacks, show you how to do it. Then we spend the rest of the evening just chewing the fat with all of our friends in the Hungry Horde. Hope y'all can tune in sometime. We'd love to have you over for dinner. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you next week. Thank you for everything. And stay tuned to see all of our wonderful channel members. Thank y'all so much again for your continued support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye.